Right, hey, what's up, guys? Coach Mac, play fast football. All right, today we're going to talk a little bit about how, uh, in my offense, I use Y cross as a tag. Uh, going to give you a quick precursor. This is not your traditional Y cross play. I will talk a little bit about traditional Y cross and uh, and what you would do with the back and and getting the back to the side of the Y. All right, that is crossing so that you create the backside curl flat combination. Uh, we are not a Y cross team. We don't carry it as a base play. But I do think there are times uh, when we have the right tight end body type and, and when we're using certain formations, I do think there are times that we can get to it in our offense. So what I want to do is show you how I tag it into some of our plays to get to it in our offense All right, uh, as a tag. Make sure, as always, you check out some of our partners, Dome Hats, the headwear company we use. This is one of my Dome Hats. Baker Sporting Goods, which is, uh, provides us with uh, our uniforms and items like coaches' gear, uh, coaches gear stuff like this shirt just play football which is the play drawing diagram that I use the tool that I use I use just play when I want to diagram stuff for speak at clinics game strat sideline replay system we use um, and we love it uh, I've used it the last three years uh, no problems on their part it's always user error on our part no uh, hardware malfunctions or anything like that so we love game strat different USA ultimate striking machine get thousands of reps without needing a partner high and tight ball security training aid you can use with your skill players all right, instant auditory feedback, have to hold the ball in the perfect position or you don't hear the beat. Stand perfect, which is a training aid we use. I just used it yesterday with my offensive lineman. Uh, it's a tool that teaches stances consistently. You put them in the ground exactly where you want people's feet to be. Uh, you can use it in baseball, softball, golf, football. It doesn't matter. You're getting more reps because you eliminate all the buzzwords. Move your feet here, move your feet there. That's where I want your feet to be. Put them in every time you know you're going to get a consistent stance. All right, so again, for us, we don't carry wide crosses base passing play. We're not a traditional air raid team. Uh, we're not even a traditional drop back team. We don't throw drop back passes as much as a lot of other people do. All right, but we will carry Y cross as a tag into some of our uh, normal passing plays. Why? Because it's easier for me to teach it within my base system of how we do things as a tag than it is to teach it as a brand new play because there are some nuances to it that are a little bit different than how we teach uh, some of the things with our quarterback, so I choose to use it as a tag. So the first way we do it, all right, is we tag it off of our three-man snag. All right, so to the front side, we're going to run our normal three-man snag concept. So we're going to, so what you're going to notice, all right, right away, air raid pundits, wide cross gurus, all right, I know the back is pushing to the same side as the wide cross. I know that's not the way, all right, traditionally that you would do it. Normally you would push the back all right, to the side the Y cross is coming from, so you can create that backside curl flat. If you get a single high safety or if you can't get the cross and you come backside, you get that stretch on the curl flat. So I realize this is not the traditional way, but we have three-man snag as part of our base package. We run it, we run it a bunch, we run a lot of tags off it. So for me to get another play in, all right, I can get to Y cross by running three-man snag, all right, and now if we get split field coverage or we get two high safeties, and they have to play the corner out with the safety, okay, and now they sink the corner down. When we go under, they sink to double the corner. Now when we push the back, if they push the nickel and the will to match the snag and to match the back, we feel like we're going to create some space here, get a one-on-one -on -one matchup. If they lock it on the backside, our tight end on a safety, and now we're just trying to win a one-on-one -on -one and create some space by taking our two to the corner, all right, which is, again, not traditional, Y cross, not traditional air raid Y cross, but at the same time, we are getting to a version of Y cross using one of our base plays, all right? Another way we do it is out of our flood concept, all right? So we can do it with a post, we can do it with a vertical, all right? We can do it here, sail, back to the flat, tag the Y cross, so now we tag it to our flood, all right? So our flood concept, our two-man to our two-man side, we're creating the flood by releasing the back that way. Again, not traditional air raid, okay? I understand that in traditional air raid stuff, okay, that you would release the back to the side that the wide cross is coming from, so he would go to that side so that you create the backside curl flat. That's one of the reasons on the backside we run dig or hunt and keep bringing him all the way inside because we lose the curl flat on the backside because we're not... Uh, we don't have the back there. Now, we have one, the next version I get to, I have one version in I can carry that makes it more traditional or similar tr to traditional Y cross, all right, off of uh, what I'll talk about next. But again, for us, this is flood front side. So we can make a normal flood call 
and we can just tag y cross. As soon as we tag y cross, we know we're going to get cross here, all right, and we know we're going to get the dig route there. So cross for us is like a backside tag. As soon as I tag y cross, our backside knows that we're getting y cross z dig or single or outside receiver dig. So again, the back is pushing front side to create the flood. We still want the front side flood concept, and if you give us front side flood, we'll take it. But at the same time, we feel like depending on how defenses are playing, all right, if we get a two high safety structure where this vertical route gets nailed down by the free safety, all right, and the corner gets over the top, all right, there, all right, we feel like we can get the Y cross with some space in this window here. Again, pushing the back if they have to push the match, if they push here, the only thing is now, with the will not having a route to buy, maybe the will can get underneath the Y cross window. So again, not your exact traditional Y cross. This looks a little bit more uh, like a traditional version. If I had the back over here and I did this and maybe I ran curl or post curl here on the backside, all right, and this was maybe more speed out, all right, that look, might look a little bit more like traditional Y cross, okay, for us, to build it into our system. We already run flood, so we just make the flood, there's your sail or Y sail, whatever you want to call it. We push the back to get our three level flood and now we tag cross. And for us, when we tag cross, we're automatically gonna get cross and dig on the backside, okay? The only way we carry it that's probably a little bit more traditional as far as where the back is, is we carry it on the backside of our slot fade, all right, so we'll run now, by one, slot fade by two, Y cross on the back side, and now we can keep the back here, turn the protection the other way, and now we can keep the back here, and we can have the back check, check, swing, and now if it's single high or we don't like the Y cross, now we can get back to running that curl flat version on the back side. Okay, so this would be more traditional Y cross, all right, by nature, all right, for us because we carry slot fade as a concept, okay, we can, we can tag Y cross on the back side of slot fade, okay, and then we would get our normal, for us, we would get the dig, we would get the flare, and now we could possibly get that curl flat stretch on the back side if everything is taken away on the front side, but again, for me, it's all about Y cross as a tag and building Y cross into, uh, you know, into your system as a tag play. All right, so it's not about the Y cross. That, you know, the normal Y cross version, like I said, would look something. And there's a bunch of different ways to do it. So you know, it would look something like vert speed out. Some teams might run it as vert bubble if it's palms and they're trying to get the corner down safety over the top. Because what you're trying to do is create that window there for the Y cross, right? So there's several different versions. People run it a lot of different ways, okay? But the, the standard version that you see all the time, and just so, you know, I, I, when I talk about it, I want you to know that I understand that when you're running Y cross, the swing normally goes to the side that the Y cross is coming from so that you create curl flat on the backside, all right? I am aware of that. I've studied Y cross. I, I understand it. I get it. But within our offense, just the way we call things and we do things with protection, we do things a little bit differently. So for me, I normally have to make Y cross a tag to something that I already run. All right. And for me, slot fade is one of the only things we run. All right. We run slot fade out of quicking. All right. So we have this concept where it's now screen slot fade taught in our quick game. The only thing when we want to tag the Y cross to it is now we make it a drop back concept. So now I can put the back where I want him, all right, in the concept. I can put him on the back side, and all I have to do is I give the back a tough call, all right, and that tells him to line up away from the normal call side. So if this was the call side concept and I call tough, he would go back side, which now gives us the more traditional look. Okay, but again, for us, Y cross is a tag. Y cross is something that we, if we like it or we want it, it's something that we get to as a tag in our offense. It's not a traditional base play. So a lot of the times my back is swinging, all right, to the same side the Y cross is going. And I know that that's not traditional. I know that's not the way people do it. 
But again, to me, offense doesn't have to be all about traditional. Offense doesn't have to be all about how everybody does everything they do. Offense to me is about finding ways to fit things into your system. So rather than me change what I do with my quarterbacks and my protection and my backs, uh, or to try and come up with maybe something that is contrary to how we read things with our quarterback uh, and, and create the wide cross play just because it's the way everybody runs wide cross or the way they say you should run wide cross, I choose to run it as a tag and now I can just call all my same concepts on the front side. So like I said at the beginning, you know, the first the first drawing that we had, three-man snag for us is, all right, every day one of the first installs we got. So that right there for us, that is base install. It's one of the first things we do all the time. So the easiest way for me to get to Y cross is to tag it to one of my base plays because now I know that my kids are going to execute everything all right, within our base offense, and then cross just becomes a tag, just like on the back side, on the back side of, of our on the back side of our three-man snag, we also run levels. So we'll also run this route and that route on the back side so that if we get teams that push with the tailback, now we get numbers on the back side and we just go high low because they're trying to match. So if we get push push with our tailback motion, we have a backside levels tag built in. So for us, Y cross, we just tell the quarterbacks it's a backside tag just like levels is or just like, so it, it, it's a way for us to tag something to a traditional play. So we can tag it to flood, we can tag it to three man snag, anything we think that we can pull the front side safety out of the equation to create the room that we want for the Y cross, all right, we can do that at any time. So just like levels is a tag for me, Y cross is a tag for me. And again, it's not traditional. It's not the way you would always see it, but I don't believe offense has to be traditional. I believe offense has to be fit things in that you want and you like into your system that you already run so that you can rep them and, and, and get better at the repetitions with your kids. So rather than teach it as a new play, we just teach it as a tag. All right, again, not traditional, not the way you would always see it, but for us, every once in a while, it works. Um, <clears throat> if we get the right matchups, if we want to put a wrinkle onto our flood or our snag play uh, to, to give us that window down the field to take another vertical shot, you know, 14, 16 yards down the field, get our tight end involved, get our tight end the ball, depending on the matchup, it's something that we like as a tag. So, again, wide cross is a great football play. It's been in every offense or a lot of offenses for a long time. You can see a lot of different versions of it, the true air raid version, Lincoln Riley's version, Chip Kelly's version, or other people's versions of it. Um, you know, I think they're all great. I think the uh, traditional way is great. I just think for us in our offense, using Y cross as a tag is a better way for us to go. So I appreciate everything you guys do for Play Fast Football. If you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. All right, turn the notifications on so you know every time we do a new video, or I do if I go on YouTube Live, you will get the notification of when I'm going live. Always leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you're a traditional wide cross air raid guy and you absolutely hate this, thumbs down. All right, it's not going to hurt my feelings. It doesn't hurt anybody. All right, you've watched the video. You gave your, your, your thumbs up, thumbs down. You don't have to like it. I know if I get a bunch of thumbs down, obviously people don't like it. Maybe it's a concept that people don't want to hear about. As always, leave a comment. If I see the comment and it's about football, uh, even if you disagree, all right, I will always try to respond back to every comment that I can see on my side as long as it's about football. So. Hopefully summer's going good for you guys. If you're involved in summer training, hopefully it's going well. If you get some time off to go on vacation, uh, whether you're an assistant coach, whatever it may be, if you get some time off to get away and get on vacation with your family, uh, hopefully all that goes well. Hopefully the world is back to somewhat normal so everybody can enjoy some time with their family and some vacation time. All right, but again, I, I appreciate everything you do for Play Fast Football. Thanks for watching all these videos, and I will see you guys next time. Remember, you won't play well until you play fast.